we go. All right, well, we got a big FedEx delivery today. So, gotta bring it in. I think I know what it is. I got one box in here, which is a surprise. And then another box out here I gotta bring in. Looks very heavy. Ta-da! The spindles. Cool.
And here we go, moving on to the spindles or balusters, if you will. And each one has to be measured and cut individually to fit into the railing. It's all a custom fit. So Brian's measuring each one. I'm going to be grinding them off. Okay, so today's the day, spindle day. I see all of these tape markings. This looks tedious. <laughs> so, not a super fast job, but I think it's got good results. This is the spin, <clears throat> they're not all perfectly exactly the same, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the spacing between the yeah. wooden spindles is right, not right, the same. Right. So, I'm individually making sure they're four inches at least, mm -hmm. or at the most. But there's a little bit of, it was like four and an eighth or something like that. So. Mm -hmm. But, well, but typically, be... once it gets to the bottom, it's narrower. So it's really only this part. As soon as you get down a little bit further, just a lot of some of them kind of bend out this way. And plus, you have the width of the spindle, which is going to shrink the yeah the width between the opening. Right. It's not just the on center measurement. All right. And then, what's the next step after you get after you get your spacing done? Um, then I measure the spindle length. So. I just measure down like that. Mm -hmm. So that's about 33 and a quarter. So I add an inch and seven eighths onto that because it's going to go into the into the a stair tread a seven eighths of an inch. Mm -hmm. And then when I drill, then I mark on the bottom where I'm supposed to drill, drill center. I use this eighth inch drill bit initially, and then I drill it out. Um, a little over an inch and a half in there, um, but it drops down seven eighths of an inch. So it's there's extra space, so I can shove it up in there and have it kind of wedged in there because mm -hmm. I have to lift the railing up in order to to get them all in, and then I have to push the railing down. Okay. In order to um, get them in the hole, so mm -hmm. it's kind of a tricky process to. Get them all up in there and then try to push it down and get them all into their holes. Oh, yeah. So, but, um, that's it. So, oh, so <clears throat> once I get this mark, so then I'm, I'm going to make a mark like, so the spindles are a half inch wide. So I'm going to mark a quarter inch. <clears throat> then I'm going to clamp the spindle to the outside and then drop it straight down. And then I know my distance from the outside of the stair in, mm -hmm. which is the center of the spindle there. So once I, I've got the, the, sp the spindle set there, then I um, use a level to get it plumb, and then I mark where the hole's gonna be. Oh, nice. So, because um, I really can't use a, I suppose I could figure out some kind of a jig down there, but these might vary in distance all the time, so. Mm -hmm. And I'll like threw away my other jig thing already. And so then you have to trim the spindle? I have to cut the spindles off. Just use a hacksaw. Yeah. And then I file the, the uh, top, so I... I there's, it's square, so I, I file all the square points on it to try and round it just a little bit. And then I taper all the ends that I cut so it slides into the hole easily. Oh. So it only takes a few seconds to do. So you say you got a new method. Yeah, so using the levels and stuff, I can mark the exact point here, and then I just gotta offset it half the distance of the railing thickness. It just it wasn't um, nice the way the other ones were, so I think I thought I was off. It was out of alignment. Hmm.
So they, they're all in the bottoms, it's the tops that you're trying to put them into. Right. Ooh, yeah, let's see. So he's got like, you got a slant, and then, so I still want, now I can lift it up a little bit, so I want these to come out. Oh. Well, folks, can you believe it? <laughs> what a difference it makes with the spindles in there. It's just, I think it adds that element of contrast, but also, you know, we've got the wood, we've got the metal, we've got the light brown, we've got the dark black, it sort of ties into the railing as well. It sort of elevates the staircase from rustic to a little bit more modern. It seems to just give a nice polished look to the entire thing, so. Uh, it, I'm really pleased and I'm really glad that we decided to go with the metal black spindles instead of wood, wood, wood all the way up. And as you can see, we still have a little bit more to do. You know, we've got to um, get to the loft and then Brian's going to do the rest of the section down to the basement as well. When you're first getting set up on the job, you have to figure out your workflow and then it sort of speeds up from there. So now that he's decided on the plumb bob for locating the area for the drilling and we've decided to go from hacksaw uh, for cutting these down to using the, the grinder. That's gonna definitely help speed things up because that was pretty time consuming. He was having a hard time cutting through with a hacksaw on um, the spindle. So, um, and I, I said, if you give me the measurements, I'll, I'll go ahead and do all that um, finish work myself so I can get all the spindles ready. So definitely speed up the process. So that's what we, we will be finishing the rest of this week. And then I'll do one more final video on the on the stairwell and on the staircase because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a time lapse video. So it's gonna be sort of from start to finish. If you want to see, if maybe you joined into the channel late and you didn't see the very beginnings of the stairwell, from even the sourcing of the wood from a fallen tree, uh, it's gonna be a start to finish time lapse of the entire build, so you can kind of see it all without all of the commentary or all the, all the detail work. So anyways, guys, what a project. We'll catch you on the next one. And thanks again for a lot of folks that have been ordering online in the store for my jewelry and other gifts for the holiday season. This is the last week. If you're interested in uh, putting in an order, you can, this is the last week for first class shipping, I think, in order for it to get to um, U.S. delivery before Christmas. So definitely consider that. I'll do another video coming up on Amy's workshop and some of the hand and some of just the detail work that I do um, with the jewelry. So you can see a little bit of up close action on that. But thanks again, guys. Thanks, uh, thanks for all the support on the stairs and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.